In a survey of 206 schizophrenia patients with more than three months of long-acting injectable antipsychotic treatment experience, 67% of such patients said they felt better than they had been feeling before when they were taking oral medication. And as many as 70% of patients reported that regular contact with a doctor or nurse who administered their injection made them feel better supported in their illness. Moreover, 88% of patients in the survey reported never having missed an injection without prior discussing this with their clinician. Long-acting injectable antipsychotics, or LAIs, have other advantages over oral antipsychotics. In addition to markedly reducing or at least visualizing non-adherence, LAIs provide a stable blood level of medication, which avoids first-pass hepatic metabolism. LAIs also eliminate the risk of accidental or intentional overdose. Moreover, the risk of relapse and hospitalization is reduced, and LAIs have been associated in several studies, including national databases, even with reduced mortality, more than oral antipsychotics. Furthermore, because LAIs require regular contact with the clinical team, progress can be more closely monitored to identify early warning signs of relapse. In addition, since LAIs eliminate the possibility of covert non-adherence, treatment sessions can be used to discuss other aspects of care and a patient's life. And when relapse occurs, clinicians can focus on psychosocial issues, substance abuse, or other causal factors. Non-adherence to oral antipsychotic medication is one of the most common, as well as preventable causes of a schizophrenia relapse. Research has shown that about 61% of patients with schizophrenia are at least partially non-adherent to oral antipsychotic treatment. In fact, early phase and first episode patients with schizophrenia who have the most to gain and the most to lose may be at particular high risk for non-adherence and related relapse. In a nationwide Finnish database study of 2,588 patients with a first hospitalization for schizophrenia, as few as 46% continued their initial antipsychotic treatment for 30 days or longer. Importantly, non-adherence is closely related to relapse risk. A naturalistic study that followed 876 patients with schizophrenia for one year after hospital discharge found that the relapse rate among adherent patients was only 21% compared to 55% in non-adherent patients, one in five to one in two patients. In a survey of perceptions about medication use, patients with schizophrenia were less likely to agree that the good things about medication outweighed the bad 61% of patients. Then were psychiatrists where 81% or family members 80% said that the good outweighed the bad. However, patients who have tried LAIs often have a favorable perception of them, as do families and caregivers. Among those individuals currently receiving an LAI antipsychotic, as many as 73% reported a positive perception of LAI use, indicating again, we're more afraid of something we don't know about than learning about the benefits of something that we have experienced. LAIs have been shown in multiple studies to be beneficial during first episode schizophrenia. Evidence suggests that although efficacy differences may not exist among oral non clozapine and second generation antipsychotic agents to a relevant degree, the injectable formulations have clear benefits over their oral counterparts. A recent study found that LAI treatment lengthened time to first hospitalization in patients with early phase schizophrenia and that many patients would try it when the treatment team was adequately trained to offer long-acting treatments. Additionally, in a real-world comparative nationwide database effectiveness study that included almost 30,000 patients, 
Long-acting treatments and clozapine were the most effective treatments for preventing schizophrenia relapse. Rehospitalization rates among patients receiving LAIs were 20 to 30% lower than for patients receiving equivalent oral formulations. Based on these accumulating data, the Florida 2019-2020 psychotherapeutic medication guidelines for adults with schizophrenia recommend as a level A strategy, either continuation of an oral antipsychotic or even a preemptive or proactive switch from the oral to a long-acting injectable antipsychotic in first episode patients with schizophrenia who are currently benefiting from and are currently adherent to an oral antipsychotic that works for them and that they tolerate well. 